You lovely people. It is Drinker, and I am here. I'm going to wait for a few people to file in. Hello, everyone. Hello, Gaga lover. Hello, Marty McFly. We're here. Yeah, I'm going to let the chat fill up a little bit. Yeah, it's been like a few days since I've done a Tomb Raider stream, and I figured I should take advantage of it before Final Fantasy Rebirth comes out, because I really want to play that and stream a little bit. So I thought, why not do a chill Tomb Raider stream tonight? We're playing Tomb Raider Remastered. This is level 4, the Tomb of Qualopec. Oh, damn. And that's a raptor. I've forgotten these are here. I always kind of associated those with the Lost Valley. I keep forgetting that they're in other parts of the map as well. Maximum Rex says, Hey, drinker, enjoying the croft? I mean, who wouldn't? Look at her. Just look at her, gentlemen. Yeah, man, I'm playing classic Tomb Raider. I'm just basically revisiting my childhood right now, and it feels good. Hmm, we have many ways to go. But which is the correct path? Uh, if in doubt, go straight ahead. Uh, Randy Bear's on Tomb Raider 3 right now, damn. You're blasting ahead. Tomb Raider 3 I always struggled with a little bit. I felt like a lot of the puzzles were slightly... I don't know, I feel like you didn't necessarily have very uh, intuitive solutions to them, which was a shame. Mm. I feel like that is going to collapse there beneath me. And it is. What have we got down there? Let's have a look. Ah. Doggos. Yeah, blue collar loser. How's it going, man? Yeah, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Looks like it's going to be good. I better go in guns blazing with this one. bad for inflicting death on the doggos, but what can you do? Is there anything over here? Nah. Alright, up this way. Might need to have me a little health pack here, though, because I'm not doing that great. Health-wise, that'll do. Yeah, man, when it comes to atmosphere and just the, the correct pacing and stuff, like, the Tomb Raider Remastered is fantastic. Apart from some slightly dodgy camera angles, as you've probably seen there. Oh, a block. All right. I would not have known that that was pushable. Maybe it's more obvious there. Uh, nah, not really. Right, is there a way to get over here without falling down? Let's try. Nope. Ah, son of a bitch. What are the locations in the game, someone asking? Well, we're in Peru right now. I think you go to... Greece, and then uh, Egypt, and then finally the lost city of Atlantis, which is just in the ocean somewhere. Yeah, I'm using tank controls right now. It's the only way to go as far as I'm concerned. What's down here? Anything? Ooh, a med pack. I'll have you. Hopefully a boulder doesn't roll on me. I'm always kind of wary of traps in this game because I feel like they are really good at catching you unawares. Yeah, Ralph von Ruyen says, we're all over 40 watching this stream. Well, you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. We were the greatest gaming generation as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it's up this way. Yeah, this is uh, Snow Queen Elsa. This is great girl boss. This is when girl boss was actually a good thing. Right. I'll have... 
have you. Mr. Brown Alliance, fine rack, mighty ass. Indeed. Let's get a good look. <laughs> See if I can sp spin the camera around a little bit. Ah, uh, it's not going to let me do it. Is it? Is it? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice. Anyway, enough of that. All I'm saying is, I wish we had this kind of character model when I was a kid. Uh, where did that come from? Is there something there? All right, let's try the switch. Yeah, so this level's all about getting those three gates to open. Where are you looking, Lara? What have I got here? Uh, that's weird. I feel like there's something up there. What am I not seeing? Eh, it's maybe just a skybox or something. No way to get to it. Anyway, let's go down here. What we got? Just in case there's nasties waiting for us. Ah, okay, we're back where we started. Yeah, that's fine. All right, go back the way I came then. <laughs> Someone's saying that they rented Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Edition. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the jiggle physics were fantastic. Gotta love it. The thing that always used to get me in games like this, well, especially Tomb Raider, actually, was like these weird scythe things that would come out of the wall. Pretty much without warning, and that was it. Pretty much insta-death. Switch. If in doubt, pull the switch. Okay. <laughs> the right tackle says mum wasn't happy. <laughs> Walking in on me playing that. Ah, uh, yeah. Hopefully you still had your trousers up. Okay. I think we have to go in here and maneuver these platforms around so we can get across. Because I don't think I can make these jumps otherwise. Uh... Played Tomb Raider back when it was released on the Atari 2600 under the name Pitfall. Yes, good times indeed. <laughs> that was a proper Indiana Jones game, that. I quite like Pitfall. The Atari 2600 was actually the very first games console I ever owned. And it was wildly out of date even then. This was like the early 90s. Um, but yeah, it was like a friend of my folks gave it to them. And that was what started my, my gaming days. I wonder if I can get over there. Can I jump that? Try. Ah, not enough. I wonder, actually. Did I do the wrong thing by pressing that? Should I not? Hold on. Let me just put things back the way they were for a second. Yeah, <laughs> David Moore. Drinker, where's your trousers? Well... That is the advantage. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, okay. Ah, yeah. Okay, fine. It's like jumping to the right. Fine. All right. Off we go. I know where I'm going. Can't push the pillar, unfortunately, Wolfgang. It's too heavy. But <laughs> you can push those gigantic square blocks that must weigh easily, what, 100 tons each? If it's just like pure stonework. Uh, but yeah, Lara. Lara works out. What can I say, man? Up we go. All right, gal. Damn, this goes really high. What we got here? Hmm. It's interesting. I feel like something just moved. Now where are we? Well, that's not going to help. I must have missed something back there. Oh, son of a bitch. Are you going to make me do that again? Yeah, I feel like there's something else there. Yeah, let's try that again.
Yeah, so we need to go up here. Make our way across. Yeah, so I don't want to go back down into the, the main room yet. There's presumably something else here. Alright, down, over. Yeah, let's try down here. What we got? Okay, that's weird. Huh. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Son of a bitch. Right. Uh, okay, now I get it. Yeah, I totally wasn't understanding there, but okay, fine. I kind of get where it's trying to take me here. A little bit of creative jumping is going to be needed, but that's okay. <laughs> You're wrong, sis. That pixely booty made a lot of young men hit puberty. It really did, yeah. I mean, what can I say? We had to get pretty imaginative back in the day, but it was worth it. Right, is this what I'm missing here? Right, well that'll allow me to get across. Hopefully it will. And I definitely need to avoid those spikes because that is an insta-death moment. And that is not something you want in your life. Right, come on. Ah, camera! Right, okay, fine. Yeah, I love how the camera's like, well, maybe. Oh, there's no way I can make that. In a way, I'm definitely going to croak. Okay. Right, hold on. I'm going to save this before I try anything more. Otherwise, this could go horribly wrong. I feel like I'm going to need to get that one to move. But how does one do it? Is it here? I need to get up there. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to need some nice time in here. Okay, go. Nope. You know what? I'm going to reload that. <laughs> Is it all to do it again? Okay. Oh, I've just had a horrible thought. Is that what it needs me? No. Wait a minute. Is that what it needs me to do? Oh no. <laughs> I just had a bit of a realization of what it wants. So there's a certain order that I have to move these in and I feel like I've done it the wrong way. So. This one has to be back where it was, against the wall there, and I then have to run all the way round, up there, over there, and down here so that I get to there, and then I can jump over to that bit. Motherfucker. Is there any way I can leap over this? Is there? Is there a way? Please, good lord. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right. Okay, 
If you're gonna make me do this game, fine. We'll play it your way. I'm rather ashamed that it's taken me so long to figure that out, and I apologize for the people watching this, because you're having to watch me replay the same areas over and over again, and that's not fun for anyone. But that is what happens when you're retarded like me. All right. We got there in the end. It's been a journey for all of us. Am I going to play all of the games? I don't think I'm going to have time to complete all of them, someone's asked me, um, because I really want to stream Final Fantasy VII Rebirth when it comes out, and that's in, like, two days or something. So if I'm really lucky, I might get this one completed. Although, considering how fucking slow I'm going, that's dubious right now. What's interesting, though, is... Although, you know, this is reforcing me to backtrack a little bit and stuff, I don't mind too much. Like, it's kind of nice just replaying areas like this. Feels good, you know? My instinct is always to hang when I drop off a ledge, just so I can see what's underneath, you know? I don't fully trust the game not to screw me over. On the blank says, what am I playing this on? This is a PS5. There we go. Okay. This might just allow me to do what I need to do. What's the best way to do this? Hmm. See, I kind of don't want to just... Okay, that'll do. It wasn't pretty, but we got there. That still feels like it's not far enough. Now I'm going to have to make this one move. But wait, is there a way? What's the best way to move this one? Hmm. Can't go back up there. That way's already covered. Okay. Let's see what happens if we go down here and move it. <laughs> right. Might be that I can jump it now. Hmm, can I go around? Let's find out. Oh yeah, okay, fine. Okay. No problem. James Hurley's asking if I do a review of the Shogun remake. Sure. Um, because... I'm very interested in that. Hopefully it's going to be good. <laughs> okay. I'm going to save it here, because I don't want to end up on those spikes. It's funny, because I'm totally abusing the, the save anywhere function, but I don't care, because I'm streaming this, and I don't want people seeing me dying over and over again. It's rather boring. All right, two gates down. One more, and we're home free. Hello, you. Let's see what you look like with original graphics. Oh. <laughs> oh feast your eyes, everyone. I like how they've even got the shoddy frame rates. It's uh, it's great. Oof, that was close. I could have gone horribly wrong. Right, on to the next area. I feel like I've earned a drink after this. Hold on, one moment. Oh shit! Let's get this out. Come on then. 
Anyone else? We've done that area. Right, let's go see what's through here. A room. Okay. Do we want to push this? Let's see if there's anything on this side here. Sometimes you find a little secret. Not in this case, though. So. Not much to do except push. Yeah, we talked about this in the last stream. Um, about how Lara is just completely not bothered by the fact that there's dinosaurs, which now exist. It's like, okay, sure, I can deal with them. No, that looks like a flimpy bit of floor right there that's going to collapse. So we definitely don't want to get caught by that. Alright, I do believe the way is clear. Let's just... Careful here, though. I feel there might be spikes under there. Are you gonna let me look with the camera? No, no. Looks. Oh yeah, there is spikes. <laughs> let me just save it here. Whoops, and I ran her straight into a wall. Well done, drinker. What is that random block in the middle of the room? Like, why are you there? What's your purpose? Is this to avoid me pulling the block out into the room? Must be. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Uh, yeah, we've done that way, so... Which way is it? Is it this way? Let's try this way. Let's get our trusty shotgun, just in case, huh? Okay. Definitely feel like there's going to be a, a boulder here. Oh, yeah. I remember this all too well. Hello. And goodbye. Ah, you've closed the way, have you? Is that what we're dealing with here, is it? Fine. Yeah, you definitely have to... <laughs> you have to work on the old memory with this. Alright, what have we got here? I see blowguns. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Why do I feel like you're about to come to life? All right, go for it, Lara. Mm, okay, we're blocked in. What do you want me to do here? Is that thing looking at me? <laughs> it is as well. Alright, let's see if I can give it to Qualipec. Hmm. Alright, anything else? Is there a switch here that I need to press? Oh, okay. There we go. Jesus. 
That was unexpected. Okay, that's closed off. That's closed off. It's got to be this way then, I guess. Anything here? Oh, right, okay, that'll be Larson then. Damn, that guy's fucking me up. Quite the thing, sir. You want to keep it so bad? I'll harness it right up your wait. We're talking about the Oh man, it's nice to see these new character animations. Hold on. I'm sorry. This piece you say. Where's the rest? I'm just gonna say as well, I think this might be my favorite voice actress for Lara. You ain't fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. You'll have to ask Miss Natlin. <laughs> I, I know what you were looking at. Thank you. I will. Super duper. All right, that's that level done. Let me just answer a few of the super chats that have come in because people have been asking me quite a few here. Uh, Blue Collar Loser says, Hey buddy, I saw your tweet about June 2. Loved it. Yes! I can't wait to review that movie tomorrow. It was a good film. Uh, James Bursey, Howdy Drinkler. No guides or cheats or Melanie Mack will call you a scrub and a baguette and she will, <laughs> like she did with Razor Fist. Nope, no cheats. I'm going to have to figure it out using the power of my brain, in which case we're all screwed. Northern English Bastard says, currently streaming the odds uh, gameplay of Last of Us PS4 Remaster. Thank God the only one was made without a shit sequel or TV adaptation. Exactly, yeah. They only ever made one of those games, and it was great. Uh, Zod Landers joined us a new membership, so thank you, man. Casey Boyd says, Drinker, did you see the newly casted hot girl from James Gunn's DC called fan sexist for not liking Madam Web and the Marvels? I did, and we'll be talking about that on Open Bar tomorrow night. Believe that! Zodlander said, uh, here's an unrelated question. Will I be able to watch your film? I love the trailer and I missed the Kickstarter for it. Or are you going to make another one? I'm hoping for a Ryan Drake series. Uh, well, you might just get both, but I'm just going to release it onto my channel. I want everyone to have the chance to see it if they're inclined to. I'm not going to charge people. I'm not going to put it behind a paywall or any of that stupid shit. Um, yeah, it's just a thing that we did and people are free to watch it or not. So when the time comes, I'll let everyone know. And hopefully you guys like it. Uh, Akirian Carter says, Hail Drinker, any chance of the boys season 3 vid? I don't know at this point. I feel like that ship sailed, unfortunately. Um, maybe when season 4 comes out, I could kind of combine them together. Uh, but right now, it's just, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much point. Jay says, Drinker Gaming is the best. No need for a co host. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I've got to try and keep you guys entertained all by my lonesome. If nothing else, you can just have a laugh at me, like doing so shit at the game. And Casey Boyd says, Drinker, have you started Attack on Titan Season 2 yet? Are we getting a Season 1 video soon? Yes, I, yes to yes. <laughs> yes to both of those questions. So, um, I am about four episodes into Season 2. Um, and yeah, still very much enjoying it. And uh, yeah, you'll definitely get a review of Season 1. I'll put it on my second channel probably. Let this little cutscene play out. I love how Lara does this. You know, some people might take the stairs. She's like, nah, I got a cooler way of getting up there. Telly's saying, what's my second channel? It's called Critical Drinker After Hours. That's where I put all my live stream re-uploads and reviews of, like, older movies or smaller films that sort of thing so there's a whole bunch of shit there um so yeah if you haven't had a look already check it out relocated now to st francis's folly new temptations torment me rumor amongst this is a baller move from lara she breaks into natla's high security office building 
gets her diary and then just stays there to read it. You know, she doesn't run away. She's just like, nah, I'm just going to post up here, plunk my arse down on this desk and just read away. Okay. Oh yeah, see, each night I'd be off as well. You <laughs> little bug. <laughs> Grey virus says Lara Croft's butler used to scare the shit out of me in older games. Uh, yeah, it's just that those horrible grunting sounds he makes. It's awful. I think we're gonna need a shotgun for this. Hey, wait, what the fuck? They take all my ammo. Did I use all of it? Oh, it's time to get creative here. If in doubt, just cheese them from long range. Yeah, that's what you get. Ah, just wanton murdering of wildlife. Why is there lions in a fucking monastery? I've never really understood that. Okay, I also think there's apes in here, but the two never quite coexisted. Okay, so what do we need to do here? We need to push a thing so we can get up onto a thing and then climb onto another thing. So it probably needs to go over there. Yeah, so it's just an escalating block puzzle right there. Yeah, those 2D walls look terrible. Well, check this out. <laughs> I just, I like this. You know, it retains the spirit of the original. Like, the level design and stuff is all the same. But, you know, you've got... Ooh, what are you doing there? You've got good lighting, or halfway decent lighting anyway, good textures, and it's just exactly what I was looking for in a remake like this. do 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 Okay, let's go. Don't know. I'm totally biased on this one. I just feel like 90s and early 2000s gaming was just the best. Best time. It just felt like such a period of like experimentation. There was so much happening. There was so much changing. Uh, it was just brilliant. Like the, the way technology advanced. Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe this isn't where they want me to go. Maybe it's to go along this way instead. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, need to pull it. Yeah, as people point out, the graphics were a bit shit, which is what you'd expect, but gameplay was a lot better. Ah, pressure pad. Okay, cool. Let's go in there. This is where the apes are, I believe. Yeah, I cannot tell you, as a gamer back in the mid-90s, to play a game like this, when what you'd been playing before was things like Mario World and, and um, Donkey Kong Country and stuff, like or, or Sonic, you know, to play a game like this where you really felt like you were in a proper adventure with real real 3D graphics, man. Just so cool. No! Oh shit, I'm caught. I have to use a med kit there. Alright, let's see what we got here. Love that combat music as well. Okay, switch here. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, someone's saying there. How about them Grecian gorillas? Yeah, 
it's, uh, it's a bit different. Presumably that's going to open the door in the main room. Oh, fuck, not another one. Let's see what we got up here. Hmm, literally nothing. Okay, where the fuck did that guy come from then? Ah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I was long says I had a roommate whose license plate said Harambe. <laughs> There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Dicks out for Harambe, boys. <laughs> oh. oh, Pierre. It's you. Shit. He's fucking me up. Track you. <sighs> yeah, the combat's not exactly involved in this game. It's basically like stand there and shoot until he runs away. Uh, I think he's fucked off now. Yeah. So, as I recall, you encounter this guy periodically throughout this area. Uh, and it's pretty cool. Yeah, flying paladin. Harambe died for our sins. <laughs> he was too beautiful for this world. Uh, can I make this? Should I make this? Hopefully I can make this. That was marginal. I uh, can't use a med pack with one of the F keys. I mean, I could if I was playing this on a PC, I suppose. Uh, I always just had to go into the inventory and use it manually. Ooh, an interestingly shaped room. Let's see what we got here. Pretty sure this is one of them jump a lot puzzles. Mm, that's clearly not what they're wanting. What's the way to do it? Uh, okay. Maybe I just need to get the angle right. <coughs> okay. I must have to get all the way across, so... Yeah, this is going to take a little bit of... Finesse, which is something I don't possess, so not good. Ah, shit. Okay, this is a bit of a pain in the ass. Is there a way to get up here? Hmm. No, let's try and do it this way. I'll do. Okay, we did it. Wasn't pretty, but we got there. Where are you? Med pack. Mm, cool. Mm. That calls for a drink. Down we go. Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, that was not what I expected. <laughs> oh damn! Oh, bro. <laughs> You're not going to make me do that whole thing again, are you? Oh, there's a restart level. Motherfucker. <laughs> You're not serious. You can't be serious. <laughs> Okay, there, if I had to nitpick something about the, the design here, that, uh, yeah, that menu system is a bit shit, where it automatically defaults you to load your previous save rather than just restart level. 
Uh, that's... That's a little bit of bullshit right there. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that is uh, a little bit of crappy menu design. And it's just an interface thing, but man, it's uh, it shouldn't be the first thing that comes up when you get killed in a level. You should have the opportunity to just restart level rather than go to previous save. I mean, like, I guess it's fine because I kind of know what to do here, but yeah. It's a bit shit all the same. I'm gonna shoot that mommy. Fuck you. Uh, that makes me feel better. How many rounds have we got left for the shotgun? Four. Okay. Could probably kill Larson pretty easily. All right. I'm just going to skip that bit, for obvious reasons. It's got to be you, almost dead there. Right, okay. You know what I'm going to do as a little precaution? I'm going to save it, so at least then... Can't have the same bullshit happen again. Right, let's go in, kill some fucking giant monkeys. Where's the others? There's definitely other ones here. Where are you? Seems to be stuck on the scenery. Right, now it's time to kill Pierre. I guess. There he is. There's the bastard. Oh yeah, running away like an absolute pussy, huh? Just saying. <laughs> right, let's see where we need to go next. It's 
So that other bit was just a kind of secret area, so can we go here? Let's try it. Hmm. Okay, I don't think we're going to make that jump. Can I get onto this rooftop over here? Let's find out. And I'm also going to save it. Now I just don't trust the game you see to pull some shenanigans on me. No, do I want that med pack? I probably do, actually, because... I got fucked up by that fighting. Some very nice ambience here. Right, let's get you over there. Question is, how do we get that door open? How do we do it? Hmm, okay, is there something over there? Do I need that? Hmm. Pressure pads. But what do we use to put pressure on it? Okay, so if we were to pull this over, let's try it. This one has to be here. And then... No. We're missing something here. Hmm. Let's try something else. Oh wait, here's a thought. Is it this? Is this what I'm... No, wait. Because I pushed this when I came in, so... Push the block to the other end? Let's try it. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> okay, super duper. So that's open. Now we just need to get her to where we need to be. Can't get up there, it's too high. Let's see if I've missed anything. Maybe there's a way to get up from this way. Maybe I can climb up this way. Oh, nope. Almost. But not quite. Hmm. If I was to push this up, I wonder if I could put the block in the other 
location. Well, let me just try it and see if it does anything. So it's closed. So if I pull the block over this way, maybe that'll do it. Let's try the other lever. See if that does anything. Is it open? Is it open? Yes. Okay, good. We have what we need. Let's be on our merry way. Hopefully I can make this Ooh. tight, but it's all right. Can I make that jump? That's what I want to know. Looks close. Yeah, we'll try it. Okay, good. Okay, we're through. That was an experience. Just in case. I've got a feeling there's going to be a bit here. What have we got? Camera's not going to cooperate, or is it? Okay. Alright, fine. Let's just see what happens. Got a feeling there could be a lot of death happening here. Oh no. Okay, fine. I mean there's crocodiles, you know. What can you say? Wow, that drained away pretty damn effectively. I'm impressed. Yeah, that's a crocodile, all right. <laughs> uh, that's a nice random picture. Fair enough. Yeah, I remember this bit. This is quite the level, as I recall. So, there's a whole lot of vertical problem solving here. Architects were rather crazy back in the day, weren't they? Hmm, can't get in. Okay. Where does one enter Neptune? Find the ways in. Okay. First, we gotta open these doors, I suppose. I am totally not remembering this stuff. The 
bats are just there to fuck things up for you. When you're trying to time your jumps nicely and all that. Are you gonna see them, Lara? No. Oh, there we go. Ah. Right, so Thor is our first one, eh? Fine. Where's Thor? Is it going to be way down below? Well, we were inside Lara's head. Yeah, Thor is lightning based, that's for sure. Damocles, that's the one with the hanging swords. Should I get it? Should I get it? Should I risk everything for a med kit? Sure. See, I'm opening all these doors. I've yet to actually see any of them. It must be further down. Now where are you? Nothing. Aha, Thor. Okay. I am definitely going to save it here. Because I'm wildly incompetent. Okay. Is that a timing issue? You just got to figure out where you can. Not clearly not that. Okay, so clearly I'm supposed to avoid... Yeah, so I can't just walk on the regular tiles. It's got to be the ones that are kind of marked out there, but I can't go in this getting struck by lightning. So... Okay, that didn't work. here. Okay, nope. Might have to get judicious with the use of the med packs here. It's 
So if I do it and jump once, and then use that. Okay, now what? I'm definitely saving it there because I do not want to have to do that again. So, Thor's hammer, we've got to make it come down on us. Sort of. Okay, now what? Alright, we got a block. Hmm. I'm gonna put it up there, alright. Probably wanna go over there, don't we? Let's see what we got up here. I don't know, do you really want to jump onto Thor's hammer? Uh, okay. Right. We want to Push over there, I guess. Come on, Lara, you pull that 200 ton block there. Let's see if that's close enough. Will that do us? Probably not. It's going to need more. Push. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> Hopefully I can do a run and jump over to this platform. If not, that's going to be annoying. Right, we've got a key. <clears throat> Hello, Thor. Christ, don't tell me I've got to go out through that fucking room again. <clears throat> Hopefully the lightning bolt's been disabled at this point because it seems a bit shit otherwise. But you know what? I'm gonna save it anyway, just to be on the safe side. Oh Christ! Guess not. Fine. You're just gonna make me suffer, eh? Okay, so we got one key. Where are you, Pierre? Where the hell are you? It's over, Pierre. I have the high ground. What a dick. Right, another door. Nah, I saw that door open and I just shrugged. <laughs> 
Right. We need to go back up now. Take me to the Atlas door. If I can get up here, actually. I assume Lara can make that jump? Yeah, just... <laughs> What we got there? I definitely need to get the magnums sometime soon. That must be round about now. Way. Yeah, it must be up this way. Start from the bottom and work your way up. Oh yeah, Damocles. That's open. Yay! Alright, one second. Okay, Damocles, let's see what you got for me. Oh yeah, so this is going to be interesting. Stay away from these central bits because that could result in all kinds of pain. <coughs> oh, you're not going to let me jump over? Really? <coughs> wow, there must be an invisible pillar in the way. How could I not have known? Oh, it's on the way out that they fall. Okay, fine. <laughs> Do we have anything up here that I can jump to? Oh, yeah. <laughs> A hidden area. How nice. <laughs> Everyone's like, save, damn it! Yeah, that'll be a sword. Is there a way to just run straight through? Fuck it, let's try it. <sighs> oh, so we got part of the way. This thing's come down fast. Got out. Very nice. And now I'm definitely saving that. Right, we got two of the keys. Oh, and a switch, which I don't think I've thrown yet. What are you? Neptune. Right, all four of the doors are probably open, so that's good news. For all of us. <laughs> right, so we've done Damocles, we've done Thor. What's next on our to-do list? Oh, 
I'll do some super chats in a minute. I know you guys have been sending them, but Ken, I want to get this level done first. Okay, Atlas. That's our next one on the list. And you know what? I'm definitely going to have a little refill before I do this one. Isn't it interesting? We haven't really fought any enemies for a while here. I think there's going to be some in here, but... Man. It has been kind of nice just doing a bit of problem-solving and exploration. Now, if it is Atlas, as I recall, there are going to be boulders involved. Yeah, that looks like a boulder, all right. Thing is, I wonder if it will roll over me. There's only one way to find out. Ah, didn't make it there. <laughs> uh, maybe I can jump over it. Let's try it again. I feel like you have to, like, get really tight in at that gap there and let it roll over you. Maybe it's this way. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's fine. There's probably going to be more, though, if I know this game. All right, what am I missing here? Is there a ledge? Uh, maybe there's a ledge there. I need to climb up. Side step. you. Alright, key. Good. Yeah, you have to wonder, like, having a, a boulder that weighs 30, 40, 50 tons roll over your finger, it's got to be kind of sore, man. But Lara just doesn't give a shit. Super duper. Okay, so we got three of the keys. If my calculations are correct, the only one that's left is Neptune. I'm pretty sure that's going to involve swimming. Okay, how do we get up, though? Yeah. Walk to the edge and jump. Where are you at? Where are you at, you little shit? I feel like Pierre is going to show up again at some point, but we'll see. Okay, there's Neptune. Let's get that done, and then we have to make our way all the way down to the bottom. So I'm guessing the best and most efficient way to get down there is a swan dive right off the top, right? That'll be all right. Okay, what we got? We got a watery puzzle. 
what's in here, I wonder. Got to be something. Nope, nothing. Literally just walls. Look at those guys. I'm pretty sure some of them have got erections. That's just porn, man. That's unnecessary. Now it was better. How's things for you, Neptune? <laughs> Alright, there we go then. Oh shit. Okay, uh, where be the switch? Looks like it's there. I got a feeling we're probably on a bit of a time limit here. What asshole designed all this? There's our key. Question is, can we swim up? Oh, it's tight. It's pretty tight, boys. I don't know if we're gonna make this. And we did, so everything's fine. Okay. Now we just have to get all the way back down to the bottom to use the keys in the lock to get out through the door to the Coliseum, which I'm pretty sure is the next level, so let's go. Down to the next level. Nice feeling when you've got all the things that you need and you're just like getting to your destination, you know? <laughs> Matt was saying, who would build a temple like this? What practical use does it have? That is a very good question. It has a lot of use. Oh shit, 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 no! Ah, no! <laughs> oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Whoops, mistimed that jump there. That's ah, alright, this bit's easy. Yeah, I was getting too confident there, that was the problem. Such a shame we never got the Lara scream as well. Right, grab it. To the surface, Lara. Yeah, so interestingly enough, there's lions that's going to be waiting for us at the bottom there. Okay, I'm definitely going to save there. That is annoying. Don't matter, saying, did I play Red Dead Redemption 2? Naturally, I did play it and I completed it and it was excellent. Very good game. And it made me happy. Yeah, this is where I fucked it up before. Does one get down? That bit looks marginally lower, so 
Uh, Breezy Station says, did I ever play Fallout New Vegas? Yes, but I didn't complete it for some weird reason. I never quite got around to finishing it, and that makes me feel sad, and I'm sorry about that. But it was very good when I was enjoying it. I'm going to cheese these guys a little bit. Where are you at? There's one more. Pretty sure he's hanging around here somewhere. Can I drop down there? It's probably too high. Okay. Take me to the place with the keys. Very good. Very satisfying when you do that. All right, I do believe this takes us to our next level. Nice, just before she face plants there. Let me do these super chats here. All right. Um, okay, what we got? Okay, Casey Boyd says, oh no, sorry, Lord Bactor says, you're making the tank controls look smooth, man, well done. Uh, well, I mean, I fucked up quite a few jumps there, so I don't know about that, but I just find them pretty intuitive for a game like this. Benjamin Todd says, I hope to God you never watch the new Avatar remake. Me and my buddies suffered through the first two episodes um, on Pirate King Bros. Shameless YouTube promotion here. It was bloody terrible writing. Yep, I've heard nothing but terrible things about it. Uh, Drosarius says, absolutely the best time in gaming. It was early graphics, but we got the best of the Resident Evil games then. Absolutely. I'm a Resident Evil purist through and through. Um, Northern English Bastard says, forget the Toxic Tomb Raider remaster. Player the uh, brave and stunning Last of Us Part 2. Couldn't type that with a straight face. Yeah, it's so brave and stunning. Um, I imagine being like the animators who had to like animate Abby. Or Dina. Like, everyone just looks so fucking ugly and miserable all the time. And then you've got to work with that god-awful story. And you're in prices after a long, hard day of work. Nothing cheers me up like seeing Drinker using Lara's head as a mallet to play whack-a-wall. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> yes, I've run her straight face-first into plenty of walls. Canon Folderol. 90s gamers had religion because Jesus saves. True. That, yeah, you'd have to do a lot of saving in this. Northern English Bastard. Ah, bullets, my, un my one and only weakness dies. Yeah, it's weird because the actual fights against humans in this are rare, but like they're super easy because you just have to stand there and blast away. There's no real, there's no real tactics to it. Um, it's, it's almost like where the combat is really good in most other respects, like running around, jumping, trying to put distance between you and your enemies. When you're fighting a guy who's got a gun, it's just irrelevant. You just might as well stand there and just blast away and hope that your health runs... your Sorry, his health runs out before yours. Um, Northern English Bastard, I miss the days when Lara killed more animals than Peta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peace or utter destruction, your favourite between Kirk, Spock and McCoy. Whoa, it's a tough one. I love McCoy because he's so fucking funny, but uh, Kirk's got to be the choice for me, man. He was my hero. Lord Bactor, Drinker, did you play Soul Reaver? Same era of gaming, but a way edgier story. Yes, Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. It was good stuff, man. Proper, yeah, proper challenge in action. 
Uh, Tneo89 says, yeah, I miss Drinker's gaming streams. Huzzah! Yes, I'm back and I'm gaming. Uh, Thank you for keeping me sane-ish during my working hours, Drinker. Here's money for services rendered. Thank you. That's what I tell Tatiana every Saturday. And Jerbury says, hello, Drinker. I'm a huge fan of your channel. I was wondering if you ever played or watched the Silent Hill series. Thank you. Um, Yeah, so played the first two games and then watched the first movie and was rather disappointed by it and I just couldn't bring myself to watch the second. Um, All right, we are in. This is the Colosseum, I think. See what's around here. Yeah, nothing. All right, in we go. Get in the drink, Lara. Fucking crocodiles there to get you. This is where I think the new gameplay engine is really going to come into its own because, man, the original struggled to render this shit. Something up here. Ooh, they just keep on coming. Fesky lions. Yeah, I hope there's a nude raider patch for this one. Should be. Surely, if there's any justice in the world. That was the dream of every teenage boy back in the day, let me tell you. Nothing there. Someone, what's this? GPT the one says, are you good at all? Rate yourself from zero to ten. This game, I'm like a three. <laughs> like, as you can tell from my playstyle, which is die, die a bit more, die again, and then find a way to progress. What do we got over here? Hmm. Okay. There's a tunnel there, but how does one get into it? Is this random shit? Oh, look at that. Again, the original game, it didn't really render skyboxes, so when you looked up, let's see. Yeah, there was nothing. They could never render sky. It was such a weird thing. Yeah, I'm going to have that first aid kit. talking about the Tomb Raider movies there. I've got a bit of a soft spot for the first one with Angelina Jolie. It was goofy and cheesy and I don't know, for some reason they decided not to follow the plot of the games at all which is a shame but yeah, overall it was pretty fun. It captured the, oh no. Captured the spirit of Tomb Raider if nothing else. And man, I don't think any other actress could have played Lara Croft in quite the same way as Angelina Jolie. She was just lovely. Oh, wait a minute. What have we got here? Yeah, I don't know why with these movies, because Resident Evil came out around about the same time, and instead of following the plot of the games, which would have been a logical choice, they decided to 
invent something completely different with in the case of Resident Evil, a completely different protagonist. And I never understood why. Like what did that what did that gain them? Was it just a, a rights thing or what? Hopefully there's something useful here after all that. Is this just lead me back outside again? Yeah, I suspect it does. Okay, fine. That's one way to do it. This was the fun way though. Look at this. And then compare it to what we had before. Yeah, not so good. Alright, I got to get to Pierre and shoot the fucker. Yeah, you're mine, you dick. I'm gonna get you. The game wants him to get away now. Alright. Better just let him go, I suppose. We've got everything down there in that coliseum. We've got apes, lions, tigers, bears. Oh my. Glory of just cheesing enemies from long range. Seems a bit unsportsmanlike, but you know. Is it gonna get any closer? Is it? Or is it just gonna roar at me? Alright, fine, fuck it. Yeah, compare this. Because, you know, obviously the new game engine could render this pretty easily. This is what we had before. It's a bit different. Everything was always at night, but it always gave the impression that you were just in a gigantic cave, and that's why, you know, you couldn't really see the sky, you couldn't see much of anything, so I quite like this, you know, it just gives us a bit more of a, a feeling that we're in the real world instead of just like this pocket universe that Lara's in. Yeah, wait, we weren't in a giant cake? <laughs> Uh, let me just answer a couple of these. Um, oh yeah, Sonoban says, Data or Spock? Spock! Although I did like Data's portrayal by Brent Spiner. It was pretty damn good. Um, but, oh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to probably finish up for now, for there, because I want to devote a good amount of time to do in this level, because as I recall, the Colosseum's fairly big and a fairly lengthy experience, so I want to do it properly. So I'm probably going to sign off there, but I want to say thank you guys for joining me on this little exploration in the world of Tomb Raider once again. Um, we've only done like two and a half levels tonight, but that's because I'm wildly incompetent. Uh, anyway, I will catch you around for the next one. So for now at least, that's all I've got for today. Go away now.